Chris from Penrose Outdoors. Um, today we're going to be looking at the Snug Pack Chrysalis range of sleeping bags. I'm holding in my hand the Chrysalis 3. Uh, the actual range spans from 1 being the smallest and the lightest weight up to 4 which is basically going to be the warmest uh, and the most insulation. Um, so I'm going to talk about the Chrysalis 3. Uh, this has got the, uh, the comfort rating on it that we've been talking about. Basically uh, this says you're going to be comfortable at minus five. So this is really the ratio you want to be looking at. Um, the low temperature being minus 10, probably going to be a little bit low in terms of you'll be cold at that temperature. Um, and I mean, if you want that Fahrenheit, it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit, and then the low temperature being 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, so the weight of this bag comes in at 1600 grams. And for, for the warmth to weight ratio on that, that is very good value for money coming in at 85 pounds. Um, it's not it's, you know of, not often that you get something so good a warmth rating with such little sort of pack size and weight for around that price. Uh, so really good value for money. Um, it also comes with these um, compression straps as well attached to the bags. So you can get it down nice and small, perfect for the pack. Um, and it also fits all of the requirements for things like DOV and Tentors. So the comfort rating is under zero degrees. Um, so, you know, for the Tentors kit list and the DOV kit list, um, you're laughing because it, it will fit nicely in your backpack. It's good value for money. Um, and yeah, per ideal sleeping bag for that. Uh, so we're gonna have a look inside the sleeping bag now. I'm just gonna take it out. Just undo all the compression straps. So this has the Paratex outer lining, um, so highly water resistant. It's also highly windproof. Um, so again, if you're sort of out to the elements, it's gonna be a really good sleeping bag for that. Um, nice and lightweight. The insulation it uses is a synthetic insulation um, and they can't combine it with uh, the resins, uh, with resins in the sleeping bag to make it as lofty and down-like as possible. Um, but if it does get wet, it still retains its thermal rating. So obviously with down, that can be a problem, but with this one being synthetic, keeps you nice and warm, uh, even if it does get wet. On the inside there, you've got a very silky um, polyester lining. Uh, it's actually what they call a Paratex lining. It's a slightly thinner Paratex than the outer, um, but the idea with beh behind that is that it does allow uh, vapor to get out, so it's a breathable inner lining. Uh, again, you've got these baffles around the neck so you can pull that in nice and tight around the neck uh, to again stop any um, sort of any of the warmth getting out of your sleeping bag um, so you've got a good hood as well that you can pull in nice and tight around the face again to keep in the thermal and the heat uh, and another key feature to this again sort of running on the same lines as keeping the heat in the sleeping bag you can actually make it a smaller sleeping bag to bring the sleeping bag closer into you um, so you, it's got two zips and a, and a sort of baffle here so what you can do is you can unzip that all the way to the bottom, unhook that, hook it onto this part, see that, and then do up that. And what you're doing there is you're taking up the excess fabric in the sleeping bag, bringing it in closer to you, uh, and keeping, again, retaining the heat in the bag. So it's closer, there's less air, there's less air pockets in there, so you, you're retaining the heat. Um, some of the other key features you've got with the bag. Uh, you've got a little LED light in the hood of the bag that looks down over the face. So if you're reading at night, um, you can just clip that on uh, and read with it a focused head beam. Um, and then hanging tabs at the bottom. So you can hang that up um, onto, on, you know, for drying. It's also completely machine washable as well. It's got an anti-snagging zip, so it's not gonna snag the fabric fabric itself is a ripstop um, nylon as well so it's uh, you know nice and nice and sturdy we've also got in this uh, inside insulation part we've got a really nice soft feeling in a toe box uh, again keeping the feet nice and warm that's where most of this sort of heat's going to escape so keeping nice and warm um, and also the actual foot box is chisel shaped so it, it ramps up at the end so again it will fit your feet in nicely and keep your feet nice and comfortable in reference to the sleeping bag's height and size dimensions, so when it's out of the bag, this actually measures quite a little bit bigger than sort of your, your average sleeping bag. This comes in at two meters 20. Uh, so if I hold this up against me, you can see uh, I'm five foot eight, 
like I said, your average average height, I'd like to say, uh, and that does fit quite a bit bit above me actually. So that's to my feet. So you're talking uh, sort of an, just over six foot person could quite happily uh, fit in this. Uh, so they're the external dimensions for foot to the top there. Um, so yeah, giving you a lot of room, um, but tapering down and it's it's in that mummy shape. So where it tapers down to the feet. Okay. Um, so. Our little tip from Penrose is that we always suggest that we stuff the bags in. Uh, so to do that, we'd put them in foot first, uh, straight down to the bottom there. And it's by far the quickest way of um, putting a sleeping bag back into its bag. So let's see if we can break the 10 second barrier. So going in nice and easy. This way you're always getting a different crease as well, so you're never spoiling the insulation. as easy as that. I hate. So yeah, Snug Pack Christmas 3. Okay, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our reviews today. Uh, if you want to check out any more of our reviews, they go up periodically on our YouTube channel. Or if you want to go onto our website, we've got loads of great gear at really good prices. It's www.penroseoutdoors.co.uk. Thanks for watching.